So, Will, what was it that attracted you to this whole 3D printing phenomenon that's going on? I was fascinated by a brand new tool entering into the creative community, allowing creative people to use their imaginations in ways that they weren't yesterday. What I mean by that is musicians always want to do more than just make songs. And you see that happening more and more in culture. You know, a musician wants to launch a shoe or a pair of glasses or a celebrity wants to make bags or perfumes. And you see companies want it to be more like rock stars. Right? So there's this intersection between corporate and consumers and then celebrity, artists, athlete and consumers. And they all want to meet in the middle. So, and here comes a new tool for creative people that allows creative individuals, whether you're an athlete and you have creative ideas or you're a musician or you're just someone at home that works and you have creative ideas but never knew how to go about bringing your ideas to reality, enters this tool here. Right? Imagine that. It's like in 1920, refrigerators aren't the way they are today. Freezers were not the way they were today. So a chef would cook and you had to eat it or you had to put salt on it to preserve it. And then a refrigerator came and you get to store it. A microwave, you wanted to make a dish for your family, you had to wake up early in the morning to cook so you could have something for your family to eat at night. Enter the microwave. And now you can make food and prepare food for your family quicker. Enters the 3D printer. For all those people that had ideas, it's like, idea in the brain, actualize here. Sometimes it, it could be easy for you to manipulate on software, or if you're disciplined and you create CAD yourself, idea, discipline CAD, out it comes from your 3D printer. So that whole concept of a new tool to be creative just fascinate not just me, any creative person would be salivating and going goo goo gaga for this technology. So I reached out to 3D Systems and met Avi because I wanted to solve a, a riddle in my brain about sustainability and 3D printing. Creative utilizing you know, materials that will be better for our environment by solving the solution with landfills. Avi, people are very familiar with the ability to create these really cool figures like what's right here behind you, but this whole as aspect of food, can you talk a little about how you can actually create food with these 3D printers now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, first let me say that uh, the universe doesn't need any more fingies and tchotchkes, right? I mean, we want to, to integrate 3D printing into the 3D lifestyle. And it starts with beautiful things like the bag that Will has by his side that was 3D printed. It continues with the wristband that I have here for my uh, Nuka watch. And then it goes into the kitchen. And within the kitchen, we're already printing downstairs here in candy, sugars, and in real chocolate. And the idea there is not just to add more sweets to the world, but to begin to learn how to create personalized nutrition. So think about this, you have 120 sensors in your car, none in your body yet, but it's coming. And in the next few years, we're gonna be able to collect data about your vital signs all day long, send it to a printer in your kitchen, that by the end of the day, as you drive home, will tell Google Maps that you're on your way, start the printer, and print for you exactly the personalized nutrition that you need. Now that's an idea worth dreaming about, and that's where Will's creativity, our technology, and our passion to do good and make good, first in sustainability, then in education, fashion, personalized nutrition, all comes together, and the time is right to mainstream it.